let me I'll, I'll bring this up so as we talk <laughs> now Ali is now the alt wins record holder passing you Shelby against New Mexico State actually la, uh what is what I don't even know what day we are Wednesday against UNF Ali has tied you Mac for most games appearance so she'll pass you by the next time she shows up in us in the in the at the complex probably uh awesome. you're com- and then there's a lot of other records, but uh, I just want each of you to talk about uh, first congratulate Leah, starting with you, Shelby. I'm sorry, say this again. Congratulate Leah, what <laughs> she's done. How proud are you? <laughs> oh, of her? Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, what Aaliyah has been able to do has been amazing. I mean, you even if you take the the fifth year, which you know is awesome but even if you take that out of the equation she still would have done all of this in four years um so yeah what she's been able to do is amazing and I think I'm sure Aaliyah will agree with this you know when we're out there we never we're never thinking about like the records and and the um the you know history and all that stuff we're just trying to you know, win and put our team in the best position possible and give it our all. And so um, for her to, you know, reap those, you know, accolades and all that stuff is just amazing. Max, she's breaking your records too. So you got to, you got to compliment Aaliyah there. You've known her for a while too, though, right? You go way back of the group, right? Yeah. I mean, I, for the most part, um, because we went to Casey together, um, well, not together, but Aaliyah, you were definitely going when I was going to her, right? You were, like, starting um, your lessons on her other side. I just remember that okay. was like the first day I met you. I think I came ah, up with okay. different change-ups. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I remember that now. Okay, I couldn't remember if that or I was taking lessons. Wow, you're making me feel like old. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, congratulations. I was super excited for you because that's what records are meant to do is be broken. And um, it just means that, you know, you're making UCF helping us get on the map even more than when Shelby and I were there, or Allie was there. And that's really awesome. So and I'm even happier that it's someone that obviously I know, because that makes it even more special. So congrats. <laughs> That's very touching. Uh, now, Allison, you broke a lot of the records early. Lindsay Enders, Dottie Cups. I want you to mention them because you kind of were in this boat where Aaliyah was now, where you were breaking a lot of those records. You got to know them. And then, obviously, you mm-hmm. saw McKenzie and Shelby break some of your records, and Aaliyah's broken some of your records. So you've kind of been like – you've seen it on all different sides there. Hashtag old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's just when you come in – as a freshman or in my case a sophomore you just want to make a name for yourself and hope that you can get your team in a position that you're winning um obviously my first year at UCF was wasn't quite a winning situation we had the the opposite we had a 17 game losing streak so but we learned from that year and the most important thing is just to put your team in a situation where you can win and at the end of the day, when you put yourself and your team in a situation to win, you're going to break those records. So obviously, Aaliyah is doing a great job um, having the support from her team, hitting um, her holding the offense on the other team to little to no runs, which is great. It puts your team in a great position to get OW at the end of the day. And it shows breaking the win-loss records, break the strikeout records. All those records are going to be broken, and it shows because she has a great team and she does a great job on the mound for her team. I noticed Shelby was nodding there when you mentioned the runs scored there. there he's getting like, we're getting eight runs a game nowadays. Allison, I think, Allison, I think you got like eight runs yeah. in a month when you pitched. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got maybe one no, a game. You know, it's funny. And that you was me. I hit a home funny. run once. <laughs> so it's funny because back in whatever year we, we had like the best staff, like ERA or whatever. 15. It was yeah. like a, yeah, it was less than one, right? And then every game that we had lost that year, except for the final game in regionals, we lost by one run. So we were losing games like one nothing or like 
two to one and we couldn't push across a run. So the fact that you guys are putting up runs left and right is like, it's probably such a weight lifted. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, that's that's a great okay. stat. I remember you remember that stat. I'm proud of you. That that's correct. Every game we lost by one round. It was like two one nothing, two one, three two. Look at her. she's nodding. She just remember, <laughs> she, she just re like memorized that. Uh, all right, Aaliyah, you know these three. I've you've heard about them for a while. You've taught got to know them. What what do you want to say to three of them here since they're all here together? I just want to say thank you to all of you for even setting those standards so high and giving me the opportunity to chase that. I remember McKenzie, my freshman year going in, you said it earlier, um, you just told me to go to break your records and I've always taken that with me and appreciated those words. Um, so I just wanna say thank you guys for doing what you guys did and allowing me to chase it because I know that I wouldn't be where I'm at today without um, you guys setting those that bar so high. Well, you're welcome, and I'm glad that you are breaking them. And I look forward to you breaking even more. Mm -hmm. And hopefully even breaking a, a postseason record, too, with how far you guys can go. There you go. It would be nice. This <laughs> <laughs> year. I, you all have, you understand, we'll, hopefully we'll do this in person next year when we do the 20 year anniversary. Uh, <laughs> But you have a bond there, right? Like, there's a great cool pride about being a pitcher at UCF. And I think you all have been a big part of that, building it and passing the baton, if you will, right? I've told you all of you that. that so there's a torch. And that's why I, you guys get on me, because I always bring it up on the numbers. But part of the reason I always brought it up to you, each one of you, is because there's that responsibility and that tradition that you wear. Do you, right? I mean, would you agree with that now that you watch, as you all watch Aliyah, and then Aliyah's probably going to join you watching the future night's pitchers? Yeah, for sure. Plus, I don't, I mean, obviously, I can't speak to other programs, but for example, Allie, you come in and watching the game supporting, and I remember, um, you know, just talking to you kind of like this type of thing, but in person, and kind of like how Leah said, um, passing the baton, you did that for Shelby and I, too, and um, um, that definitely, that definitely kind of, kind of, I guess, I put a fire, fire under us, too, yeah. to, to, um, try and break those records and um, do a lot on the mound for our team the best we could. That is yeah. correct. That is good. <laughs> See, Maggie, I'm like, you're you're, you've got it down pat, but that's the torch. Shelby, I mean, I remember when you passed Allison in the wins rec, uh, mark, Allison called your game when she did that. I don't, do you remember that? Was yeah. that at like USF? No, it was the Tulsa game. That was the Tulsa game. She was doing the game for uh, the digital network. She was Wasn't at, Bernie okay. on there too? Yeah, it was Bernie and you. you yeah, and Bernie and he, he kept saying I was pronouncing Shelby's last name wrong. And I'm like, dude, I got it. Come on. I'm a <laughs> yeah, right. I, you know, I, I, I got the mess up. <laughs> I ain't messing that up on a night. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I do remember that. And then Shelby, you were you were with me in the booth. Uh, what year was it? Two years ago? Remember, you were coming down. You were uh, with Judson. You and Sammy were coming down in spring, and you came swing by. And Aaliyah yeah. was pitching. Remember what you said on the air about Aaliyah? I don't remember off the top of my head. That's yeah, why I'm here. Gosh, yeah, come that's on. Why I'm here. That's why I'm here. You <laughs> told her that you wanted her to break the record. You even told her. You were oh, yes. Her, like, Go ahead, break the record. Even back then. You supported her back then. Uh, yeah. which meant a lot to her. I know what, what just remember why, why were you like that? So supportive in that regard to the point where you welcomed her. You're like, Hey, do, do what you got to do. Yeah. I mean, why would I, why would I not want her to have all the success in the world? you know, I had my time at UCF and then in the pro league and everything like that. UCF softball and I want her to have all the success in the world and um you know if that means if that means surpassing me then you know that means surpassing me I don't need to be at the top of that leaderboard um to know how successful we were as a team and you know and for my own personal career and all that kind of stuff like I want her to um surpass all of the records because that means that our team as a whole is doing 10 times better than even when we were there. 
Aaliyah, you remember that conversation that night when uh, you got, I think you, that was the first time you met Shelby, was it, Aaliyah? I think so, yeah. I do briefly remember that. That's right. That was Coach Bear met her too, right, Coach? That was, uh, that's, and you brought Shelby in to talk to the team that night. Just bear yes. Um, what was the game? What, which game was that? I do remember that because we brought him into the, her, we brought the pitchers out and they're kind of just looking like, you know. I was <laughs> in the training room. I remember sitting on all the stools. Oh, okay. Is that what it, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. What game was that though? Do you remember who we played? I got to look back. It was a Wednesday night game. I just remember that because Shelby like hit me up because you were, she was in town with Judson. They were, you were on spring games. You were playing at the spring games, right? Shelby's up. Yeah. We were there for like a, a week in Florida. Right. That was 2019, I think. Yeah, it was 2019. It was. So it was like a midweek and you swung by. <laughs> I'll never forget, like, as soon as Coach uh, I you met Coach Bear, Bear grabbed you right away. He's like, hey, can you talk? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what do you want me to talk about? <laughs> it's like the picture fraternity there. Yeah. You were Shelby, you were like, I'll see you in a few minutes. And then it was like 30 minutes later. All right, I think they're, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what do you remember of that, Coach? What was that? What, that was kind of a big moment. Why did you like, that was, you felt that was huge that Shelby talked to the to team at that time? Yeah, well, I mean, first off, just, you know, in, in deciding to come here, um, one of the first things that I, like, question myself on because I, I had a good gig where I was at right and I I said wait a minute UCF has the best pitching staffs ever like that's what I always remember right like I talked about McKenzie um shutting us our offense down and I think we were number one at the time or you know we were in the top five offensively at the time and um and in 2015 that was one of my worst years in in records of coaching and I just remember seeing these ERAs that uh, McKenzie and Shelby were putting up and I'm just thinking, can I just get one of those games? Like we're putting <laughs> up eight runs and losing. Um, and so, and then to have the opportunity to be here when Allison, you got your, um, you, you got into the hall of fame and we got to recognize you. I mean, that's why I came here because you start the game and you start a program and a team around the circle and to have the tradition of pitching that we've had here is just it's so awesome and amazing. And it, like, I didn't even have to establish that, right? It was like, I get to just build off of it, which is so cool. Um, and so that's why I came here is because of that tradition and being able to, you know, just help some of the little things along the way. Um, and so hearing them talk about the, their experiences and then just how, you know, when it was your turn to get the ball, you didn't want anyone standing in the way of getting, getting that record. Like that was your record and that's how it's supposed to be. And then to be able to pass the torch like you guys are talking about, it's our job now to get UCF to Oklahoma City so you guys can see them and represent and come be in the stands and, you know, be those crazy alumni that cheer for your team and your program. And that that's what our our vision is, and that's what our goal is to do. And so I, I'm going to say I wouldn't be here without, you know, these three and even four with Aaliyah White in the room. And so um, it, it's just so awesome. Like, I have chills hearing you guys talk about all of those things and the experiences and like what you want this program to do. And, um, you know, when you hear Shelby talk about like the one run games and um, pitchers don't forget that stuff, they just don't. And I know that from experience and, and that's truly why I feel like I've taken such pride and passion in the offensive side of things. We see it as a pitcher's mind and, you know, from a pitcher's mentality. And so our goal is, I, I'm I'm darn hard on the pitchers, and Kendra is, you know, as well, right right there with us. Uh, we tell them that they're the face of the program and they keep us in the game, but, you know, our offense is going to have to step up to get us past. And so um, we're playing for you guys every day. We mention you guys. We see your faces. You're on our handbook. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do that and have that vision without you. So I just want to thank you. And thank you for letting me be a part of this, too, and carry it on. That's pretty good. By the way, I, not you. You and Mackenzie have given me material now. I'm looking up that Washington game in San Diego now. All of a sudden, <laughs> I don't even know that. I remember um, that game. That one did stick with me. Why? What do you remember about that game? Um, well, I remember. I mean, I was a freshman, and that was like my first big tournament. Um, and one, I mean, I was nervous, but I was not surprised, but just like, oh wow. 
I did pretty good. This is awesome. <laughs> um, and then I also remember that whole tournament, like you said, it was kind of long because we didn't have the offense. <laughs> so um, I was just like, all right, we need to get some runs on the board. And then I remember, um, I'm trying to remember what um, inning it was, but I think we ended the game because I, I know I gave up some kind of run, but um, anyways, yeah, I, I remember that game and I remember the field um, that we were on. And yeah. my face is like getting red because I hate talking in front of people. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll say it yeah, because it. She, she didn't give up a run. It was, you know, we were in the tiebreaker and someone hit the ball off their thumb and it l- literally landed right behind second base. It was like, she ah. should have, she should have thrown maybe a fatter pitch. So we would have hit it harder right at somebody. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Was so bad. And I remember as a coaching staff, we were thinking like the same thing. Okay. Our pitcher can hang, but like we got, I remember we were like, this freshman has lots of strikeouts. She's got an upspin. We got to figure this thing out. And um, I, I know that that was one of our most stressful games. And I think that weekend we had Northwestern, we, you know, we had all these teams and yeah. we were so focused on UCF. It was crazy how it's kind of all kind of turned, come in a full circle here. Yeah. But you did cool. not give up a run. It was like <laughs> this happenstance, you know, and our girl's hand is probably still ringing. <laughs> yeah i remember that like that was uh because that was like one of your one that was one of your fewest runs scored that year all year even including the pac-12 games right like that was like one of the games you got shut down uh by and that was an unearned run went 10 innings in that game in san diego by the way mac we scored three runs for you in san diego in three starts against ucla and oregon state washington that's what we provided for you <laughs> yeah they were that was a tough schedule but it was it was still fun yeah Kendra, how many wins did you have in Carolina? I never did, because I know you were mostly a hitter, but you pitched a lot, especially at the end there. How many wins did you have? Um, I honestly, I don't know. Um, definitely oh. not as any of these girls in the room. Um, I pitched <laughs> more later in my career. Um, I primarily played outfield and hit first, um, but I, I honestly, I don't know. I think you were in the 50s. A Carolina, like, I, I've tried, I'm going to have to reach out. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's bad. I didn't work in Carolina I don't, I don't I'm not there I don't work in Carolina see but I, you know everybody's stats I do well Carolina media guy needs to be updated uh, yes it does <laughs> Among I know. I rely people. on you to know my stats so that I don't have to know them because I don't. Yeah, you never it. knew. Like you never knew what was going on until I told you after the game. I really you're... didn't. <laughs> I just All went right. out there and threw, and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool, whatever." Yeah, that was your that was your response. He was like, "Oh, okay, cool, yeah, all right." What are you? Oh, and then Elo would bombard us after the game with all these random stats, and we were like, <laughs> "Yeah, awesome, <laughs> cool." Just getting you prepared to answer those questions. I still do that with Aaliyah, so. And I give the same answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. How do you know those things? <laughs> yeah. Listen, you didn't have it as hard as Allison. She was the first one, and she had to do it live on, like, audio, radio, post game, like, without any prep. Oh, no. Hey, yeah. that's way better than video, because as ugly as I looked after those games, <laughs> I was fine by me now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would have had to. Hey, edit. I did have hair and makeup. I mean, come on. Well, we would have had to edit video. We would have had to edit you because you would go off. You would go off on the umps. You were very critical of. Uh, you were like after oh, the game, yeah. like, yo, I thought the ump strike zone was not that great. They were a little off. And... <laughs> they were. <laughs> well, I'm not saying you're right. I'm just saying we don't. <laughs> we we try not to, uh, you know, say that publicly. But you, you know, whatever. You you kind of had your own. It's rules. true. Hey, they should get graded just like we do in the like in the MLB. How the umpires get graded on their strike zone, they need to as well. I agree, especially those uh, umpires. I don't know if you guys have problems with the FSU. Remember Shelby? Every time oh, we played FSU, it was like there wasn't a strike zone. I think I had the most. No, like, you know what? Though? I ever. had that same guy, that same guy at FSU when we played oh in the NPS. We and played a series awful? of FSU against the Pride. Was he awful? He's with terrible. You guys? Yeah, I don't. I don't Shelby. know how he still has a job. Job, remember when you we played Auburn at here and he was behind the plate and you walked the bases loaded in the first inning 
And I think they, yeah, they won one thing or something like that. Like it was just crazy. Wait again. I think they ended up winning by one and it was because he couldn't find the strike zone for four batters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a problem with Shelby Walsh. I was like, Shelby when have walked. I ever walked the bases loaded? That like. was my job. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, that's what I did. <laughs> and then you'd throw three strikes in a row with yeah. your change up. <laughs> and then I would strike out the side. And everyone would be like, yeah. what are you doing? With oh, just change yeah. ups. <laughs> I just had to get focused. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is a problem if that's happening for you. <laughs> See, Allison, uh, we, we had issues with the Gainesville umpires, which uh, Coach Bear, yeah. found out, Cindy found that out the first year she went there. When we war- I warned her about it, too, way in advance. Like, have fun with those umps in Gainesville. They, they tend to uh, – I mean, Shelby they, uh, Shelby got screwed in 15 – Tiff, Tiff, you remember this? They called her freaking illegal pitch on her with the winning run at third base. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The only illegal pitch of the game just happens to come yeah. with then, the runner out yeah. there. Oh, and then when I got the game – winning error they give it an error instead of a hit oh yeah 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 and the hit that it should have been scored a hit but no no we got to protect oh, Stacey Nelson's ERA. Yeah, exactly are you better i can't tell <laughs> no, i should have been a two i should have ended the season with a 276 batting average but instead it was a 274 no, i'm just kidding i don't even know <laughs> uh yeah yeah gainesville yeah what was that it? was that was brutal. That was brutal. I'm still brutal. We always cringe on every time the we go. Armpit of America is so hot there too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good yeah. God! If you want to lose twenty pounds, play a game out there. The good news is they've renovated now, so the like the stands are they're not the people are not on top of you like they were back then. Now because mm-hmm. of the renovations, they're a little further back. Didn't they shade it too? Or maybe yeah. that's something yeah. I'm thinking about. Uh yeah I think yeah I think Florida shaded oh. it's more like a ball yeah both both of them both got it. yeah yeah there you go what's your favorite moment from your career at UCF each of you starting uh, we'll start with you Shelby what was your favorite moment what chimps out oh gosh don't come to me first let me think <laughs> I'm always right. glad when he ta- asks you questions I'll, I, I'll go first I'll go first I'm the oldest and that's the there. oldest has to go first there you right? go all right um probably. I can't have just one. And you're going to know why when I say the first one, USF. When we had our 17-game losing streak and we finally beat them, there's nothing that made my heart happier than to see Ken Erickson lose on his field, and he thought he was going to win. <laughs> um, We're going to have to bleep these out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made my heart so happy. He even knows this. I, when I was going to induct into the Hall of Fame, I was, like, talking straight trash to him. Coach Bear heard me. I remember that you three were like, yeah, I was like, I was like worried it was like something's gonna break out there. No, one hundred percent, one hundred. Ken comes up to her and he says, "Congratulations, you were a hell of a pitcher, yada yada." And you were pregnant at the time, and you yep. said, "This is a night, not not a bowl. Get away or something <laughs> like that." I was like, "Oh my!" God. I was like, uh, "She's got first dibs on uh, on Penny. You don't." Yeah. Here, I was like, "You had your opportunity with me." <laughs> And I was like, tough. Uh, my second favorite uh, is probably, as much as I like the Florida game, it was definitely a conference Houston championship game. Taking they down Shamblin, just, taking her down. It, yeah, it just, they always gave us a run for our money. We hadn't won in Conference USA, and to beat them on their home field in a conference game was probably, I mean, take USF out of it. That was probably my favorite game of all of them. All right, Mac, your turn since Shelby's still, we'll go, we'll go in chronological order here. Um, I don't, I don't have just one favorite memory. I have a favorite year, favorite season. That was definitely senior season, 2015. Um, and then like personal games, um, Florida, um, my freshman year, obviously um would be like the biggest one probably that stands out that one was fun plus it also is special because i met preston yeah you you met your future (laughs) husband who was watching you on tv yeah i did my makeup for that one so it paid (laughs) (laughs) um anyways um what else i don't know 
the season of 2015 is like the biggest one for sure for me um and then one game that I remember um on the flip side watching Shelby pitch was the Tulsa one that lasted forever (laughs) 16 innings yeah partly because it was fun to watch her and partly because like I got the side notes of all her commentary (laughs) on the side after each inning (laughs) And that one's like, can we just push yes. one run? Just yeah. one. We were like, just put us up to that. <laughs> like, let us get it. <laughs> we got this. I'll punch it's it. Like, it can't be worse. It can't be yeah. worse than us just going up to that. And I'll get hit. I don't care. I'll just get hit. Like, whatever it takes. Yeah, I'll be like Florida. Just give me a, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. An elbow pad. And I'm good to go. Evo shield. <laughs> An elbow pad. <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> Um, oh my god anyways but yeah so that was my favorite season for sure that was like a two to one game i remember i talked to megan who was the sid at the time and if you've been to tulsa like they're, the bathroom is like a million miles away from that tiny dump of a press box they have so you have to wait 16 innings you can't just go and come back because it's like takes forever to get back that that's I remember being told about that story. That that was crazy. And then you, Shelby then comes back the next day and throws a seven-inning shout-out like it was no big deal. I remember Coach G. No, 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 no. Okay, so I threw the 16-inning game. It was the first game of the day. And then the second game, we just decided that we weren't going to play defense oh, that day. Yes. That was, that um, was my only loss of the season. Yeah. Umpires yeah, didn't help. Even, the umpires even, didn't help that game either. Don't even get me started like, on that one. Going through people's legs. I think at one point an outfielder threw the ball into a dugout. Like it was just, it, we were all over the place. And then she came up, the coach she came up to me and was like, Do you think you could go back into this game? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> and then I think, I think at the time, Coach Hillary was like, Coach G, she, she can't, she's done. Like it, yeah. she's done. And she was like, Okay, we'll try again tomorrow. So yeah, and then I came back and threw the next day, but I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah the, sad part was I wasn't, the sad part was I wasn't yeah. even throwing bad. <laughs> no, no I know. Find the ball. <laughs> it was like, like if I was, we if just I was throwing literally, bad, it was like out, everyone put the glove on their left hand and then like tried to field. Yeah. Oh wait, on the right hand, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's yeah. like, the glove does go on the left hand. <laughs> it goes along with your uh, elbow pad. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That was your only loss. The elbow pad was over their eyes. That's why they couldn't feel it. <laughs> oh, so oh, just wow. from this conversation, what was the bullpen like with you guys in it? Because I could only imagine um, <laughs> those conversations. Holy cow. Oh, Honestly, um, it was like a lot of making fun of each other and like. Pretty much just cracking on each other and then like actually I think that weekend um Mackenzie and I decided we were gonna have a photo shoot before the game <laughs> yes we did I Do you remember, remember that, that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, we're gonna have a photo shoot oh, like, excuse we, me, we, were. we were like we were doing all yeah, we, this I remember that we were here yeah this was all before this was this before the first game the 16 inning game yes it was before the first yeah. game. We like, did you guys uh, yeah. keep the tradition after the fact? You started doing that a lot more, I feel like. I think after we did. And then we started posting stuff. The photo yeah. shoots? Because yes. we had to get our Instagram Probably. cred on. Yes. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, we we definitely didn't take ourselves too seriously. That's for sure. Yeah. So it so wasn't bo- boring. But you both brought the most out of each other because of that, right? Because you're both were kind of different, so you kind of complement each other, right? Because you hit it off both. Because I remember, so different. I remember when Shelby came on campus. The like the talk was, man, are they going to get along? Are they going to be like okay? And next thing I know, they're like just laughing and joking at each other. I'm like, yeah, I think they're getting along. <laughs> didn't the first time you meet, met me though? Didn't you think I was like going to be a? Bit- <laughs> I think we <laughs> both thought each other was going to be a. Bit- our rbf i mean that's it's true so we both prominent. have a pretty bad <laughs> so prominent it is so out there um, that's true we both we both yeah, have a but i face. think we kind of yeah i think we kind of like really bonded though over the fact that we are both kind of like really small 
Um, Cause I remember like when I first met Mackenzie, like I didn't realize that she was a pitcher. And then I was like, wait, what position do you play? And she was like, I'm a pitcher. And I was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, what position do you play? And I was like, I'm a pitcher too. And then we were just like, oh, we're both like these Normal two size. little, like, yeah, two little girls <laughs> that we're going to go and like change the program. And so, yeah. I agree. By the way, I got the answer. 45 wins, Coach Kendra. You got 45 wins at Carolina. I figured it out. They were probably all in my junior and senior year. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> – the majority there. They didn't yeah. figure out how to use you until the end. By the way, so like Allison's bullpen – Allison was like the intimidator because I started – you know, I started back then, and I remember going on the team bus, and, it, and nobody got off the bus until Allison was ready, and then she left the bus first <laughs> no. and everybody followed. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you had the iPod. Dude, it was it was like I'm sitting there and they tell me, no, no, you gotta wait. They 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 held my hand like CC CC and Amber's like, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till Amber until Allison's ready. Yeah. Cause Renee's like, no, no, yeah. When Allison's ready, we're ready. And then you got the iPod. We're waiting. You got you're listening to music or whatever. Then you're ready. Then you get all you get off and everybody's like, Yeah, let's go. <laughs> what? I do not remember any of it. I sat nearby you. I remember it very vivid. I was like, like, at, like Cece would grab me, like, "Don't you move! Don't move!" That must have been a Coach Gillespie role because that, I can see that that had nothing to do with me. <laughs> I don't know. I was a rookie at the time, so I just followed instructions. What year was that? Oh eight. It was always. It was the first year I traveled with y'all. Oh, probably because Coach was paranoid about hurting me or anything. Like I remember, <laughs> I remember one game. Me, it was me, Sarah, and the trainer I was like let's play an April Fool's joke on coach and they're like all right what do you want to do and I was like let's just say I fell and I hurt myself they're like well how are you going to cry and I'm like does anybody have contact solution <laughs> so I just poured it in my eyes walked in there and Jessica that's what it was Jessica was like Allison can't pitch she just hurt her arm and literally coach was like we we can't tape it up like and she's like no she's like she's done she's done for the season Coach almost like had an aneurysm. Like it was bad. <laughs> I was evil. Wow. I can that totally see I was that. evil. Happening. I was so evil. And then there was another thing that I pulled a prank on and I thought it was funny. <laughs> I don't think coach appreciated it too much. Probably not. No, that that probably could see that. I could envision mm -hmm. that. I did not know that story. Oh yeah, that was funny. I came up with that on my own. Wagon. <laughs> <Dragon>. It's <laughs> <Just> good. <laughs> with lots of help though you know yeah yeah that's probably true though yeah they that was like the unwritten rule like nobody left the bus until you were ready to go and you let you were the first one out like nobody nobody could jump so weird yeah i had no idea and you were allowed to have dr pepper when nobody else was. oh yeah i was allowed to have dr pepper and a snickers bar yeah what you know, what that didn't happen oh. to us no so now i'm mad because i love ice cream and that's on what conference i conference day championship coach reap the pitching coach i hear a knock on the door and i'm like who the hell is knocking on my door like so i go to the door and there's this dr pepper and a snickers and it was from reap and <laughs> That's hilarious. I had to sneak frosties. Oh no. It was like Allison's allowed to have soda at dinner time. Like I needed my oh, soda. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is like an she didn't soda. do that. You can ask anybody. You no. can ask anybody. Like Allison had her Dr. Pepper in her snickered bar. That's hilarious. That I was stuck happen. with green beans and water. Yeah. We weren't allowed to have any uh Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Or bread, yeah. yeah. All the bread places where they put the bread on the table, and she's like, "Yep, nope, don't deliver the bread to those tables." Yep. <laughs> I'd be like, "No uh, bread." I'll be in the bathroom and I'll tip you five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I had um, people sneak me in some vanilla frosties. So. Yeah. Um, well, I kind of think I made a bet with Coach too. I was like, if I win X amount of games, can I have a Dr. Pepper soda? And she's like, you can win that many. I'm like, yeah. I had no idea I was going to win that many, but I wanted my Aaliyah. Dr. Pepper and soda. Aaliyah, what's the um, rule for desserts for you guys? Well, when we first met Coach Bear, she would talk about like our rule for desserts is if it's crush it like an O2 pitch. And we were like, what? We get dessert? <laughs> I mean, a 2 0 pitch, sorry. I said that backwards. Of course I did. Um, 
<laughs> and I was like, we all were like, what? We get desserts? What is that? Like, we had no idea. Awesome. But it's awesome I'm jealous. now. I'm jealous. Desserts like my major food group, so. Me too. Nice. It's like you put in your calories in the day, because that's me. We haven't yeah. paid. We haven't paid up, but um, we also said, "What was it? Um, dip and dots for series wins, sweeps, right? Oh yeah, something sweet. like that. It was like ice cream. Okay. Yeah, well that, that 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 goes back. We've done uh, what was it? Yeah. We're in Connecticut. Didn't yeah, you, Max Shelby, right? There used to be ice creams if we swept somebody, right? Yeah. 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 Or there if was. we swept somebody, sometimes I would ask her if I could just get a soda at dinner instead of like she would let us get dessert at dinner sometimes if we swept. But I would ask her for a soda instead. We used to get desserts back then too, right, Allison? Or is that like, or did we miss no. out? No, we missed out. No, so we, we, uh, I, I only, I think we were allowed to do soda because I was allowed to have soda. But other than that, no. So as long as like, we that was like a, That was in my contract. Like I had a contract that I need Dr. Pepper and Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> You you reach that agreement like I'm only transferring here if I get this and this right? Yeah, yeah, that was in my on negotiables. Like, if you want me, this is what, you have to, this is what I come with. That's funny. <laughs> Not alcohol, just Dr Pepper. Yeah. Now, did y'all teammates like pressure you all to talk to the coach about like, hey, give me some, give me some oh, snack hell. here? Allison has to ask. She won't say no to you every time. Yes. I had to ask Coach Gillespie every single time. I'm like, y'all got to grow up here. But she doesn't <laughs> say no to you. Fine. So I had to go and ask every single time. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple. Kaylee was one of the ones that we would send. We would send Kaylee. Kaylee. We would send, if it was something for Coach Tiff to answer, we would send um, Brittany Solis. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coach G would be you, probably. Me? And Kay yeah, you and Kaylee. Yeah. I remember asking Coach her a handful of times about if we had to wear pants at practice, if we, just random stuff. Yeah. They still have those here. There are still <laughs> their select few that they named to go to Coach Bear, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure we do. We all have our <laughs> strategies. <laughs> <laughs> there's always a favorite just like in our little kids there's always a favorite no the problem is is the one the one that thinks that she's my favorite doesn't get away with everything so like Leah when she asked me about no pants the other day I was like um we're doing ground balls and we have a game tomorrow are you sure you want to make that decision and they were all in pants that day so <laughs> <laughs> we, that makes we, sense. we have to you know step our game up too to keep up with everybody so <laughs> but you have to remember all these rules like we have to stick to them so that's you know that's why I kind of we have like three rules and that's it so <laughs> we're trying to eat as healthy as we can but yeah like if we're what gonna, are the, if we're gonna eat bad food you better are. crush it I like that <laughs> go all in coach bear they're like asking what the three rules are oh the three rules you want to answer them, Lee? The rules for eating out? No, just the three rules in general are be a good teammate, oh, work oh. hard and have fun and keep the yeah. same demeanor. And then, I mean, we're pretty simple. Like we have our core values, but our three rules are just that. So, I mean, it, it helps me because I can't remember a lot of things either. So, you know, if someone walks in the dugout and I, and they're not walking back into the dugout, like a champion, you know, a, a championship mindset we could just say like stick to the three rules what t number one number one you're not walking into there like a teammate let's go so i i have uh i've learned throughout my time that less is more so, that is true yes i like it we're and, smarter not harder too yeah and thank goodness for Especially tiffany and kendra because they have to remind me of even the three team rules sometimes so <laughs> <laughs> funny that's pretty funny of course you got the three kids too when they run around they kind of they kind of try to uh sneak in the dessert too there right Who, like... oh yeah you know it's interesting when i went and worked with the usa um the snacks that they had us eat i was like We're, we get to eat these like i was so confused that you know usa i thought it was going to be like no soda nothing 
I, I was like, this is going to be a miserable summer. And it was literally uh, bananas with peanut butter and honey. And then we got to have in the, in um, the games, we got gushers and paydays every other inning. What? And every we, other inning? Every other inning, we had a gusher or a payday. We switched off. And, um, I mean, the coaches were eating them so much. Like, one of the coaches lost their, like, cap on their tooth. It, I mean, it was like, <laughs> but you know what? Nobody went down. We all had energy. We all were, like, we were in the hottest, like, in Georgia in the middle of July. And so we brought that here. And I think maybe I brought it here because of my kids, Elo, because they, they come in and they know that mommy's work means gushers. So, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, when we get our alumni stuff going, don't worry, we're going to, we're going to uh, pack your guys's dugout for the alumni game with gushers and paydays. Yes. Love it. All right. Gushers never leave. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, Shelby, this is your chance. Cause you've been like every year you give me a hard time about, Hey, we should be doing this for the alumni. This is your time to talk right now, Shelby. Go ahead. You got the, the people that can make it happen. I've already, I already sent coach Tiff the itinerary. So she already knows what my ideas were. And I, I know we can make that happen easily when we're not in a pandemic. Right. <laughs> Which I get that. I totally hundred percent get that. Oh, wow. So. You're not, we're, wow. This is like top secret here. We're not going to find oh, out. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll share it with you. So I envision, okay. I envision everyone getting in on like Friday and then there being either like a softball game in the fall or something of that nature that we can watch and like support and all that stuff. And then the alumni will go out afterwards. And then on Saturday, um, like a like slow pitch game or something like that a barbecue and going to the football game that night i like it yeah it's like a tip i feel like that's like hits all the all the marks for a good alumni weekend and it doesn't have to be like a week-long thing yeah and then something in the i'd love to do something in the spring too during season yeah 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 so angelina devoe she's she stands about five two um, and she's a pitcher on our team, a little lefty pitcher, and literally says maybe two words all year, right? <laughs> and have you guys seen the movie Pitch Perfect before? Love yes. that movie. Yes. Okay, so you know the 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 one lady that like she'll talk the Asian one, the Asian movement. girl, yes. yeah, the Asian girl, yeah, yeah, legit. Like we're all standing there and we're acknowledging Aaliyah, and you know, we it was kind of a weird thing because like we no one brought it up until it literally happened and was done. Right. And Angelina out of nowhere, I, I she just goes, We're gonna put your face up there next to Allison. And we were just like, <laughs> Did she just talk? <laughs> <laughs> so it is the funniest thing. But I mean, there's a freshman that like just gets to be rec like be able to recognize you guys and you know the things that have been done here. And so such awesome, awesome to be a part of that. But yeah, that was it was literally like someone, I, I was waiting for someone to say, don't shout, you know, yeah. the next line in the movie. So, <laughs> Yeah, Max, Shelby, you'll be up next soon. You'll have to, we'll, once we figure out to fix the wall, we'll get you both up there. And then your Hall of Fame ceremony will be coming soon. And we'll try not to schedule a double header, a double day game there that night. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we'll find out, and it won't be you having to tell Yeah, me. hopefully I don't be the, yeah, the one to break the news to you. That'd be kind of crazy there, like Allison there. Mm -hmm. Like, give you a month notice. Of course, Allison's, like, pregnant there, and I'm calling her husband, Pete. Like, Pete, is she going to be all right? Can she travel? Because she's going to get inducted to the Hall of Fame. He's like, yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. I'll make sure she's there. <laughs> I was, like, three, two to three weeks out. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, gosh. I, I props to close. you. I was over it at that point. <laughs> Oh, I was too. Yeah, and I, I was went, like, yeah. What did you I say? Know. I was gonna say, and I only went a week. Well, a week over. I don't know if you went over or not. Um, my first one, I was three days late, and then Penny, I got induced on the a couple days before the due date. So gotcha. Yeah, yeah I didn't have to go far, thank God, because it's miserable. It is. You still threw a strike though. Kind of. <laughs> you Wait, you have to throw a pitch? Yeah, she threw the yeah, first pitch. 
Did you? Oh, how did God. you do that? That's impressive. I stepped in. How did you work around that belly? Was it like a curveball? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say like a curve. Uh, no, I just kept my hips open. Did you go under? Or <laughs> like over the old the school. <laughs> yes. Well, I went by my hip, so like I just went straight, like shoulders gotcha. to the catcher. There ain't yeah. no getting around the belly. <laughs> Not at that point. Yeah. Nip. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that because there was like this huge discussion. Like, man, maybe we shouldn't let her throw the pitch. Like, it's kind of you know, everybody's like, and then it's it's but they, I think they talked you into it or something. I don't know what happened, but like you pitch and you threw a better pitch than you did on the alumni weekend when we honored the 08 team because your 08 pitch was oh. that went like in the dirt. That was like, way oh, that was like way bad. <laughs> but you said you didn't warm up, so you wanted you. I think you agreed to, to throw the pitch as long as you warmed up, threw a pitch or two. Yeah, I did. That's the lesson there, Mac. We got to get you to throw first pitch. Shelby threw it when she was a coach at UNF, so we, that you're you're due up at some point down the road. Okay, I'll give me some time to um, practice, <laughs> so, so I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Which side note? Sometimes I throw with my um, girls, and Shelby, my best pitch right now is my drop ball. <laughs> oh God! So, <laughs> other than change up, thank goodness. But yeah. Anyway, that's actually all right. All of you, what's your favorite pitch? If you had one pitch you could throw, and you know, you called the pitch, what's your favorite pitch? What was your favorite pitch in chronological order? Allison, what's your favorite pitch you ever th you, you would throw? Uh, I mean, I only had what like four pitches. <laughs> um, only, only, only you see there, <laughs> but they were all well, like, really one good. was a fastball, one was a fastball. I, I mean, depending on the batter, I love throwing my rise ball to Rachel Folden. Or my drop ball, like to whoever else, and then my change up. Like I liked all my pitches; they were all fun. Oh come on, you have one? You don't get yeah, you. There's one like your go. -to. No, I named all my pitches. You named them? <laughs> yes. What did you name them? I, I, I want to hear this. Number one is the Terminator. <laughs> Number two was I can't remember what my change up I called. I think just Deuce. And number three was um. One of them was the assassinator. <laughs> and I don't remember the other one. Oh, oh no. Two was Bustos. Because that's how I was going to strike out Crisco Bustos. That's right. Two was Bustos. And I can't remember the rest. But I oh, okay. Well, Bye. Appreciations. Bye. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Allie. Thanks. Congratulations, Aaliyah. Thank you. Wow. Matt, where's Matt? I'm right here. What was your favorite pitch? I mean, I think you can guess. <laughs> Change up? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but I liked, I liked all my pitches for the most part. Um, but change up was definitely my favorite. And probably my most consistent was my screwball, other than change up. Um, so, yeah. Whoop. Shelby? Curve. What's your favorite, Aaliyah? Curve. Wow. Yes, like my stories about you guys, like all three of you, I've been so lucky to be around, obviously. And like the three of you are so this so similar on the mound, but also so different. And like it's just really cool how as a freshman, like you can see the, the kids that are gonna be great. So Aaliyah. I knew she was going to be close to you guys when she finished this because of how she was reacting to tough losses, to carrying the team on her shoulder her freshman year, not having anybody, probably similar to what you were doing, Mac, your freshman year before you had Shell and what Shelby did her senior year. Um, and I remember her being in Memphis and she was just, they were just hitting her. They, they had a a lot of slappers, like just, just running a lot. We weren't playing good defense behind her and we took her out. And this was like the third game of the series and somebody we brought in couldn't handle it. And it was just, it was even worse. So we looked at her and we said, okay, can you go back in? And she looked me dead in the eye. She goes, I I can go back in. They're going to hit me. We'll just have to play defense. And at that moment I was like, okay, we got something here because I can remember you two just having that same grit and determination and Mac being so preserved and so just 
that demeanor off the field. But then when you stepped on the mound, it was like, like that. And Aaliyah learned that very quickly too, because she's very similar to you, Mac, in her demeanor off the field, very quiet, very reserved, um, not wanting attention. Um, and then it's just really neat how I could see the comparison really early with her and how special it was. Cause I was like, Oh gosh, if she ends up anywhere close to Mac and Shelby, we're, we're all right. Yeah. That's kind of why I'm not leaving this place, you know, <laughs> that Leah made. but, um, and then Shelby, obviously you're just, you're the fireball and part of the, you were the, the bake in shake and bake. And, um, it, it's just really cool. Like how, how three of you, like, you've just been so amazing for me to, to be a coach and just watch you guys perform and be who you are on the field. It's like why we do what we do because of you guys, like keep us coming back every year because we want more of you guys. Like more. Yeah, of I was guys. always, I was always sad that you came my senior year and I didn't get more because mm -hmm. I so enjoyed, and I'm not just saying that to blow smoke, but it's so true. Like, <laughs> I, I was always like, "What the heck? Like, why, why is she? Why do I only get to have her with one for one year?" So thanks, Mac. Awesome. I'm gonna carry you around in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a voice recording of it. <laughs> but yeah, That's but cool. well, anyways, this was this awesome, was, guys. Yeah, this was fun. This was so awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, congrats to catch you. up with and all I, of you. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing what else you do this year. You and the sure. team. I oh, wish I could come and watch it all. I'm really annoyed. We could watch <laughs> it on ESPN Plus now. Well, yes, but it's not the same. Oh, you know thanks. what I mean. Well, thanks, Mac. Appreciate it. <laughs> the future is bright, guys, and it's because of you. So that's awesome. Thanks. I appreciate that. That's high praise, Coach Tiff. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.